Now we are going to show you the process. The first step is to weigh out the water, and this is uh, the cylinder that uh, we use for that. We take it and uh, fill it up with hot water. The temperature of the water is almost at boiling temperature, and then what we do is we pour it into a stainless steel cup and weigh out more. We need uh, approximately 250 milliliters. That's 50 milliliters of hot water. We place the magnetic stirrer into the stainless steel cup and put it on the magnetic stirrer heater plate, which is already set at uh, high temperature, and we'll wait until it uh, boils. While we are waiting for the water to boil, we, uh, we can look at the pickling powder that already has the, the color, natural color and natural flavor in it. And we use a pre-measured amount to put into the, uh, into the hot water to make the brine. While we are waiting for the water to boil, we can also prepare the vinegar. We need uh, approximately 70 milliliters, and we use the cylinder to measure the part. <coughs> now we have the 70 milliliters of uh, vinegar in, waiting, and uh, we are ready to make the, the brine as soon as it uh, starts to boil. Once we add the powder, we have to start stirring it and we have to make sure that uh, it completely dissolves. So we, uh, we stir it as long as it's necessary. And then when that's done, we'll be adding the vinegar. And then, once the, bo uh, the water starts to boil, we start to stir it and uh, turn the stirrer on. Okay, we add the pickling powder. And uh, keep stirring. Continue uh, stirring with heat until you are sure that the pickling powder is thoroughly dissolved. Once you are certain that the pickling powder is thoroughly dissolved, you can add the vinegar. And that's what we are going to do now. Pour it in and keep stirring to make sure it, it is also completely dispersed. And then, once that's done, turn off the magnetic stirrer, turn the heat off, and the brine is made. Now we are going to set up our ultrasonic bed. First, the temperature we set at uh, 65 degrees centigrade, and that's what we are doing now. And that's set, then we'll set the, the time, which is here, and then we'll set it at five minutes. And then when that's all set, we go back, and uh, we, have, uh, we, have, we make sure that uh, every setting is done. And then we pour a little bit of hot water into the bottom of the ultrasonic bag. And uh, the next step is to use the brine. But before we use it, we have to remove the magnetic stirrer that we're doing now.
We are pouring the brine into a heat resistant jar that we use to make the pickle. Yeah. And uh, then put this jar into the ultrasonic heat treatment bath, fill up the bath with hot water. And part of this process ends at uh, removing all the air from this jar, and that's what we are doing by hooking up the vacuum pump to the jar. And that's uh, done mechanically. This switch activates the ultrasonic bath, and this switch turns on the vacuum. And uh, the whole process under vacuum and ultrasonic takes five minutes. Now we are going to take the pickles out, already finished, totally processed, and compare them with the the fresh cucumbers or the quarters that uh, we started out with. These are the fresh cucumbers that we used to make these pickles. Let me show you the difference of really the, that uh, these are after five minutes completely cured, finished pickles. What I would like to show is the actual difference between the processed, fully cured pickles and the uh, fresh uh, quartered cucumbers. As you could see, there is no air or anything that's uh, uh, left from uh, the fresh cucumbers, and the, the color is already fully developed, and the flavor is already fully developed. Everything is as finished pickles should be.